Huge news, Wizards of the Coast president Cynthia Williams is leaving the company at the end of the month. We dig in on the what, why, and how in this video. Explain yourself. An SEC filing disclosed that Cynthia Williams, the president of Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro Gaming, had informed Hasbro that she was leaving the company as of April 26th. Per the SEC filing, Hasbro is conducting a process to identify her successor, looking at both internal and external candidates. Wizards of the Coast provided the following statement to the character sheet. We're excited for Cynthia to take the next step in her career and grateful for the contribution she has made in her more than two years at Wizards and Hasbro. We wish her the absolute best in her next endeavor. We have started the search for our next president of Wizards of the Coast and hope to have a successor in place soon. No reason was disclosed for why she was leaving, although her annual salary was previously disclosed at being $6.6 .6 million annually. Now, Williams joined Wizards of the Coast just over two years ago, having joined Hasbro from Microsoft, where she served as the general manager and vice president of the gaming ecosystem commercial team and helped drive the expansion of Xbox gaming. Williams also worked for Amazon as part of their e-commerce director consumer business. Williams, you may remember, took over the job vacated by Chris Cox, who became the overall CEO of Hasbro. Now, under Williams' leadership, Wizards of the Coast helped grow Hasbro's most profitable business line, with Wizards earning over $1 billion in 2023. Wizards, which includes the digital gaming business line, saw some massive successes, including the release of Baldur's Gate 3 and Monopoly Go, but was also the focus of intense scrutiny for a series of corporate missteps involving the Dungeons & Dragons and Magic the Gathering brands as well as an attempt by activist investors to spin off Wizards into a separate company, which ultimately failed. Now, controversies involving Wizards of the Coast in 2023 alone included an attempt to change the open gaming license, which ultimately failed and we covered extensively on this video channel, an incident in which Wizards sent Pinkerton agents to retrieve Magic the Gathering cards obtained prior to the sale date, and a botched release of the Deck of Many Things product, resulting in a rare product delay that caused that product to miss its holiday window. While head of Wizards of the Coast, Williams oversaw the subsidiary increasingly pivot towards digital formats, with Wizards adding several in-house game studios to release games uh, that were a mix of existing and new IPs, and aggressively working with outside companies to license D&D video games. She also helped to finalize the purchase of D&D Beyond, a digital platform for Dungeons & Dragons, and looked at ways to expand the digital footprint of that game with an in-development virtual tabletop system. So what does this mean for Wizards of the Coast? Well, honestly, probably not much, at least immediately. Williams oversaw this expansion into digital and she apparently was very good at it. Those plans will probably continue to move at least until a new CEO and president is put into place. But keep in mind, Chris Cox, who was previously the head of Wizards and is still the president of Hasbro, is still running the ship. So all of what we've seen Wizards of the Coast do for the last several years will continue to happen with or without Williams. Let us know what you think about this big breaking news in the comment section. And as always, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons.